All right, today I'm going to give you guys a detailed look at this Metal Bill figure. Uh, it was a requested video. Uh, someone asked me to do a, a Evangelion Unit 1. So here it is. Uh, there's the box from Bandai, the Metal Bill. And uh, there's the back of the box. So let's uh, open it up. All right, and here we have Unit 1 outside of packaging. And uh, it only took me half an hour to put everything together my goodness this thing uh this one has a lot of accessories i have to say then uh let's go over them let's go over the accessories first we have uh some accessories uh, a dagger uh attachment pieces one knife and then a grenade launcher attachment pieces for the um the rifle and then we have shin guards right here and then over here we have an extra plug and I'm not exactly sure what those two pieces are those uh, triangular pieces I'm not quite sure and then these are attachment pieces I'm not even sure what those are either and then he comes with a bunch of hands uh, these are nice hands here we have um, weapon gripping hands uh, more like uh, swords and daggers oh no these are the the sword Oh, these are the knives, uh, the knife hands, and then just your hands, and then a pair of fists, and, uh, and then, uh, then another pair of uh, just your hands. Oops, yes. let's focus on the wrong spot here. Right there, those are the hands. So let's take a look at unit one. And it's a little bit. Zoom in so much. And uh, I put the base together and then uh, some of the attachments are on here already. We have the swords, two over here, and then the pistol. And then over on the other side, we have the rifle right there. And there's unit one with some attachments on him already. And then if we rotate him to the back, you can see there's the plug, and then a rubber hose, and there's the place where you're supposed to store it. Alright, here are a couple of pieces I forgot to show you guys. Uh, here's the alternate headpiece, and also two magazines. Alright, uh, let me get a give you guys a closer look at unit 1 here and uh, here are the cuffs they're on him and they're the weapons really nice looking weapons and even the base is really nice let's look at how cool this base is there's this EVA Unit 1 test type. And again, we rotate it onto the side. And there's the weapon. Alright, so I'm going to take Unit 1 off its base and uh, show you guys his articulation. So, undo these so quite easily. Right there, the cuffs. And then, uh, undo the plug, I guess, back here. Right there. Just undo it. There you go. And there's Unit 1. Really good looking. And uh, I attached it attached these these pieces uh, onto his thighs oh, they don't look that good so I'm most likely just gonna take them off now so yeah because they don't look good and then it, this is kinda cool uh, this piece actually moves out of the way it slides open and then to attach this piece on and same goes over here Yeah, slide that 
piece off, and then there you go. Slide this piece back down, and there's unit one. So as far as articulation, let's see, head is on a ball joint. A lot of movement there. And then the uh, mouth could open. Mm, actually, not a lot. Oh, there you go, right there. Moving a bit. A bit of mouth movement. Uh, it is hindered by that piece back there, so I guess if you have to lower his head a little bit, because uh, there's a ball joint uh, on the head and also base of the neck, there's another ball joint. So once you have his head down a little bit, you can get his mouth to open up. Damn it, my hands need to be out of the way. And um, as far as the shoulders, uh, these pieces are removable. Um, this one and this one, these are removable. Let me show you the back real quick. And uh, you know what? I'm gonna remove these because these do get in the way of uh, range of motion. So not really fond of these pieces, but uh, gotta be really careful with this uh, figure because uh, it is matte finish, so it will scrape very easily. So you just gotta be super super careful with this one. And then here's. You know one without those shoulder pieces, and as far as uh, range of motion, oh, yikes! You can move those out of the way, and his arms could actually go really high up. So full range, and then uh, also there's a there's a joint around the chest area, which helps allow him to have even more movement, and there's the butterfly joint. There, you can see, swing forward, back, forward, back. So he could definitely hold a weapon with uh, both hands, like uh, like that, uh, like that pose with the with the dagger. He could actually do that um, quite easily, which I'll show you guys in a little bit. And then double jointed. Well, there's a bicep swivel there, and then double jointed elbows, and then ball jointed wrists. And then as for the torso, let's see, let's see. So as far as the ab crunch, you go about that much. Then uh, can he arch back? Yes, he can. Look at that. A little bit. I mean, not a whole lot, but still, there's something, right? Then I guess you could also do side to side with no problems. Oh, shoot. What was that? Crack. Okay, so I guess there are... A number of uh, ball joints here. One, two. I think it's only two ball joints there. And then as for the legs, these are cool. Uh, you can see this piece does help cover up cover up the uh, the joint here. So they do slide with it. That's kind of neat. And you can swing this leg forward. The knees could bend could fold together. And as for the feet, uh, this piece can move, the one in, f in front right here, and then also the back piece can actually move as well. So you go like that, cover it up, and then the toes can also move like that. And uh, this piece back here is on a ball joint, and uh, this thing does tend to pop off quite easily. So you gotta be careful, make sure that piece doesn't get lost. And uh, yeah, really good looking uh, unit one here. So let me see if I could uh, put him in a really nice pose here. And there you go, he's doing that pose with the, uh, with the dagger. I mean, it's not the prettiest, but you get the idea. Rotate him over on this side so you guys can see him. Uh, it's, it's, it's gonna fall right there. Pretty cool. And 
here I got the Uno one holding on to the rifle right there. Really cool. Both hands. And uh, one thing cool about this rifle is that uh, you could uh, replace the attachments. Uh, here is the long rifle and then you could turn it into a short uh, with the bayonet. And this one right here, that's cool. And then or you could throw in the grenade launcher as well. So let me do that. I'll try to do it on camera this time so you guys can see. Because uh, uh, that's cool. So all you have to do is slide this. Uh, you know what? Let me take the hand off. Slide this piece out. There you go. Now it became a short rifle. And uh, there's a little rail running on the bottom, which runs underneath this as well. So it's kind of like a real, um, real rifle, I guess. And then here you can attach. Oops. Attach this piece on the bottom. Come on, go in. Gosh, come on. <laughs> Alright, so that was not cooperating, so uh, there you go. Down on the bottom, now uh, the rifle has a bayonet front, and then if you want to remove this, you can also attach the grenade launcher. What the heck? Did some a piece fall out? Okay, I guess this piece you could remove too. And uh, down here, you slide this in. And there you have it, a little rocket launcher on the bottom. Very cool. All right, so uh, let me see if I could give you a uh, landing pose for this guy. He's, I'm sure he's able to do it without uh, any problem whatsoever. So I'm gonna attempt it on camera, and uh, if if it doesn't turn out right doesn't turn out right then I will turn it off <laughs> so e e e e I don't know how much of his uh, waist I could turn well let's not do a full-on punching the ground let's just do one of him looking at you well that's about as far as you could turn his head so and then uh I dropped him down so you guys can see there you go all right so here I got him doing a uh, not a landing pose but getting ready to run at you type of pose so it's kind of cool uh, so I mean it looks great it looks very natural look at those legs they're very very natural on him uh, one thing I wish uh, this thing could do is uh, the head, I mean, it, you can't really fix that. I mean, that's how the design is. You can see how the the back of the back of the head there's this piece, so it hinders uh, the 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 head articulation a little bit. So he can't really crouch down too much more. If he hunch down even more, well, I guess this is still okay. I mean, he's hunched down pretty far, and he's still looking forward, so that's good. So I guess I guess it's a non-issue, and uh, yeah. So let me give you a closer look before I end this video here. Unit one right there, really cool, and it does have a uh, diecast pieces, uh, mainly the frame of this uh, figure. Here's a good look at the back side. Oh, I do know one thing uh, I wish they did was the um, the cockpit. Uh, they should uh, at least give us the accessory, uh, the cockpit, that or or, or an add-on piece where you could actually see it coming out or something. That would have been nice, but we didn't get that. But uh, overall, a very very impressive piece. And uh, I'm not sure what I mentioned it, but uh, this thing cost me about $280. And uh, it's a very, very impressive piece, Unit 1. I don't think I'll get Unit 2 or 0 if they do make those. I think Unit 1 is enough. Because it's not cheap. 
and uh, yeah, it looks awesome. And uh, yeah, again, matte finish, so you gotta be really careful when you're messing with this guy because you don't want to put scratches all over uh, this beautiful piece here. And one last look. I put unit one back on the on the base here. Uh, he needs to recharge, so there it is. Well, let me show you his mouth again. There it is. Really pretty. Really nice. So yeah, I highly recommend this thing. Uh, if you're an Evangelion fan, then you're definitely gonna pick this one up, I think. And uh, I'm not sure, again, not sure whether this is still available, but uh, I wouldn't pay like over three for this guy though. It's nice, but not that nice. So there you go, there's Unit 1 from uh, Tamashi Nation. Thanks for watching.